a lot of times ideas uh, start out one way and then uh, I, I have to let them kind of morph um, and let's let them do what they're wanting to do. There's so many things that have been done at this point in art uh, that I think two-dimensional artists have to uh, create a, something that's kind of outstanding. I've evolved a lot over the years, yeah, from being an illustrator for the US, U.S. Forest Service, working for biologists, painting feathers on the back of a duck, doing scales on fish, and, and uh, now it's hard to believe that <laughs> I used to do that. <laughs> In nature, uh, things are really kind of spontaneous and random, and to really paint nature, a lot of times you have to allow the paint to become spontaneous and random within the confines of trying to make it uh, scientific and something that kind of communicates to people by the elements of design and color, um, but then allowing, allowing things to happen. I start out with texture a lot of times, um, and then layers and layers and layers and um, glazing, washes, um, all sorts of color after color after color over the top of each other. And because of that process, it's almost impossible to actually completely reproduce those paintings again. Because there's a slight transparency no matter what in all the paint. and what's underneath comes through and even I um, if I wanted to do the same thing twice really difficult um, I kind of do the same motif several times but they always end up really different the final painting that I end up with is uh, virtually never the same thing that I started out thinking about. Um, in fact, very far away from how I started thinking usually, um, which is kind of exciting. Um, I've kind of become addicted to that process. It's, uh, it's really exciting because I don't know what's going to happen. somebody comes in the gallery and they look at my paintings and they say uh, wow I've never seen anything like that that's the highest compliment I can get for what I'm doing it's really kind of exciting to me when people buy the art and I see that they're entering into it and uh, and I don't think a lot of people really realize that about buying art that they have to actually become uh, sort of artistic um, inspiration doesn't come from complete comfortability inspiration comes in a little bit of agitation Some paintings that are more um, looked at more like jewelry, um, they're, they're kind of an icon that stands out, maybe doesn't fit into everything, but uh, creates kind of an imbalance almost that uh, a lot of people miss, I think, sometimes in, in designing things. Um, imbalance is an important part of balance. And so paintings that end up being jewelry set off other things. They don't necessarily go with other things. I'm always reminding myself, I, I write little things on here. This little thing under here says, original art should have impact. 
And so I'm always trying to remind myself that I need to create things that um, are going to have some kind of a lasting feel to them.